Hello and welcome back to Nether Survival. Oh dear, that was a close-up. <laughs> that was, oh, oh, okay, I don't have a brain apparently. <laughs> Anyways, welcome back to another episode. And today we have upgraded Minecraft to 1.16.2. It is out and it's amazing because it adds a bunch of new stuff and it's cool. Um, one of which allows us to finally make... Hold on. Brewing stands with blackstone. That is great. So we are going to be uh, dealing with that today. We are going to be making brewing stands. Um, but there are also some other things that have tra changed as well, such as bartering. Uh, some of it has been updated. So we're probably going to be doing a little bit of bartering to in today's episode um, as well a little bit later on. Now you might wonder what on earth this hole in the wall is for. And that is because if you did not watch the last episode, we raided a nether fortress. And that nether fortress had a total of eight diamonds. Which means we can now make a crafting table. And you might think, well, well, binary, uh, you, you can't get paper in the nether, so uh, you, you actually can't do that. <laughs> also, you can't get that silly. Uh, but you see, Bob over here has uh, come with an amazing offer. Let's let's take a look here. So, Lapis Lazuli is now available in Bob's shop here. Three gold ingots for one Lapis Lazuli. I think that is a pretty fair price because when you think about it, you only need three levels of Zuli in total uh, to get a level 30 enchantment if you have the um, the correct amount of bookshelves. Uh, so I think that is a fair price. Down here we have the paper which allows us to make the books for the bookshelves and of course to the enchantment table in general. I feel like this price is a good price right here. If we were to make a, the amount of bookshelves we would need for a level 30 enchantment table, um, that would be, I believe, 144 uh, gold ingots we would need to spend in order to get the amount of paper, paper we need. Um, and 144 ingots, I believe, is 16 blocks of gold. So that's a lot. That is going to be expensive. I don't even have that. I don't even have half that, I don't think. Do I have half that? I think I might have half that. But anyways, it is going to be expensive. We're going to need a lot of gold for this. Um, and also, I have included the stone slab now. It is now available for purchase because we are not able to make a grindstone down here. But I want to be able to make a grindstone. And I feel like a diamond for the stone uh, slab to be able to make the grindstone is going to be very cool. Because the grindstone can be used to clear enchantments off of items. Uh, so that is going to be hopefully helpful in the future. I still don't have a price for redstone and there's still this unknown secret down here which uh, we don't have a name for uh, and we don't have a price for nor a name for yet um, we'll have to s wait and see what, uh, what what that is but anyways that's a lot of stuff to do today one of them is we're gonna make an enchantment room this is what this is for basically um, we are also going to put some potion brewing stuff over here as well um, so yeah that's a bunch of stuff we gotta get uh, going with today What to start with I think we need to get started with the enchantment room as you can see I've kind of already laid it out This is basically going to be the bookshelves and one of these sides are gonna be the potion brewing area and I believe what I guess we'll put I guess over here we'll put grindstone anvil and uh What's it called? Smithing table over here, I suppose, since that will this will kind of be like our workstation when it comes to uh, tools and stuff. So how about we get started with building that? Um, I think I'm going to make the theme this, the warped wood, um, just just to give it some variation in here. And uh, yeah, we're gonna see how it looks. So I guess start the time lapse in three, two, and one.
All right, the room is complete and I think it looks pretty cool. I think I like this. So we have this room light down here and we will be having an enchantment table on it. But if I remember correctly, an enchantment table is not seen as a full block. So I think the light should travel through it. But anyways, even if it's not, we have the lanterns up here. So over here will be the brewing area. And over here, as I said before, we will have the, um, the anvil, grindstone and the tool table. Um, we could move these over or at least this one just so it fits with the tools over there. I might actually do that. Even though it's not gonna be that symmetric. Well, it's not gonna be so symmetric if I do this with the other pillar, but I think this is fine to like indicate where everything is supposed to be. Yeah, I think I like this. I think I like this a lot. So I guess we should make the enchantment table. Actually, I think we should make the barrels here and put the um, brewing stands up first, actually. Let's do that. Two barrels right there. We're gonna place these like so, so we can open them like so. And here comes the big time. This is when we can make a brewing stand using blackstone. There we go. That is the first time we've ever made a brewing stand within Minecraft survival. That is pretty cool. Uh, so these barrels right here, one will contain the ingredients and water bottles, which are going to be extremely valuable from piglins. Um, and the other one is going to have the finished potions. And I'm thinking I'm gonna have two, um, two of these brewing stands. But for now, one I guess will do. One will do because I don't have any more blackstone. I need to go get more. Now for this over here, I don't have an anvil, and I also do not have a grindstone and I also don't have the tool station but I'm thinking we should make the tool station right now just to just to get some stuff to fill out the the emptiness there because we will need the tool station eventually we might as well go ahead and make it right now oh, sorry the smithing table <laughs> okay I'm gonna put it right here there we go then I think we will have anvil and then grindstone now the enchantment part I guess it's time to make the enchantment table. All right, so for this, we will need leather, which we have right here. So we can, in fact, make the book. We need just one book to begin with to make the actual crafting table. And then we need three paper, which means I'm gonna need to use these three gold ingots. And this is, in fact, the first ever time, I believe, that we have um, done any trading with Bob here. So this will be the first trade. Hold on. Okay, that's... Why are they not attacking me? I don't get it. Duh. Huh? Huh? Eh, go away. Go away. Go. Oh, I don't think they like the fungus. Okay, cool. <laughs> uh, okay, three gold ingots and we will have... Wait, that was the lapis lazuli. I, I, got, the, I got the wrong thing. <laughs> <laughs> that means to get the last of the I meant to get the paper. I guess that I guess we can now add that to our valuables chest. Whoops. Um let, let's try again, shall we? Alright. Give me the paper trade. There we go. Paper. <laughs> paper, finally. Okay. Aha! Whoa, 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 whoa. 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 I did not look at you, sir. I did not look at you. Okay. Die, please. Oh, no. No, I have 29 levels. No. No. No! I had 29 levels! I had 29 levels. I was gonna do a 30 level enchantment. Why? That. No. I was gonna do a 30 level enchantment today. Ah. Uh. Well, I guess that happens. Man, I was gonna... Hmm. It was my... Don't you start as well. It was my plan to make a 30 level enchantment today. Because we have 8 diamonds, we would use 2 diamonds for an enchantment table. Then I would need 1 for the grindstone. Then we would have 5 remaining. I was gonna make a diamond pig... A diamond... Yeah, a diamond pig axe. And then I was gonna enchant that. Sigh. Because... Yeah, we need the diamond pickaxe in order to uh, to get the ow to get the uh, diamond pickaxe in order to start mining ancient debris. Uh, but I guess that plan is down the drain. 
that's amazing. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna get back up before I die again and lose another three levels. Well, that was a huge setback. Um, hmm. I guess it's back to mining gold and quartz to get up the experience. Anyway, uh, you know what? We will enchant a diamond pickaxe at the end of this episode, even if it takes some grinding. So don't worry, we will still do that. Do we have glowstone? Because I think I need to recharge my respawn anchor right here. There we go. Okay, well, let's move on. Uh, put the glowstone in here. All right, let's go ahead and make our very first book. There we go. And then, uh, we do not... Ooh. Oh, okay. Whew. Okay, we do have obsidian. <laughs> I thought I just... I was just worried that we only had one obsidian, but no, we have enough. Four obsidian, two diamonds, one book. Obsidian, 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 diamond, 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 and book. Enchantment table. There we go. Let's place it down right here. Boom. Look at that. Our first enchantment table in Nether Survival Series. And... Yes, so currently we cannot enchant things up to level 30 because we obviously don't have the bookshelves. And as I said earlier, we would need 16 blocks of gold in order to get all the paper required for all of the bookshelves. And currently, we only have 10. We need 6. So I guess what... Oh, okay, I guess what that means. Um, gold and quartz collection time lapse. <sighs> I need a few pickaxes. I need actually I also need more blackstone to be honest with you. So <laughs> enjoy time lapse. All right, so in that time lapse, I managed to get to 30 enchantment levels, which is amazing. Um, I also managed to get quite a bit of gold, so now I think we have 13 blocks of gold. But on the topic of gold, I found this. Now, before you get your hopes up, um, the the nether fortress that we looted in the last episode is in that direction. So that means I, I didn't know this existed, but I completely forgot about it. <laughs> <laughs> we have not been <gasps> Oh dear. Okay. Okay. We have not been in this one yet. And I did sneak down here. And first off there's a chest over there. But that's a block of gold. 
Now we know what piglins are like when we take their gold. Um, they're not that friendly. But if there's one, I guess there's a potential of more. So... We... Yeah, see, there's the chest. I'm gonna have a quick look around to see if there's any more, like, chests or golden blocks or anything like that. If there is, of course, we'll take it. If not, we'll head to that chest and that one block of gold. Oh, wait, there's, there's a chest up here. Hold on. Going up. Okay, there's a chest here. Now, the first bastion that we ever raided in Season 2, I did a little bit of a strategy and it seemed to work where I basically block myself around it. I don't need any hoppers or anything. Just like that. That's a block of gold. That's a block of gold and an iron sword with sharpness too. That's not bad. Obsidian, iron nuggets, string, bone blocks and a golden apple. As long as I don't break the chest, the piglins and I should be good. We should be friends. So that, whoops, that is a strategy you can use. Um, and this is in 1.16.2. Of course, maybe there weren't anyone nearby. Um, but it worked. So let, let's get the chest at the middle here. I don't think we have any other chests around here. It does not look like it. Let me have a quick look around. All right, I found another chest. So we're gonna do the same thing again. We are gonna block ourselves in here, like so. Open it. Golden carrots. That's not a bad food source. And a bunch of iron as well. And a golden axe with sharpness. Three. Ooh, not bad at all. Alright, I'm gonna keep looking. Would you look at that? Another gold block right there. I don't know if there's more than one. There might be. Let's have a look. Now this I don't think I can break without them getting angry at me. Um... So I'm going to wait a little bit with that. We're going to remember that it's there. And uh, I'll get back to it. I just want to make sure that I don't miss anything else over here in this direction. Alright, so that is the chest down there that we already looted, I think. This place is relatively clear. I think. Yeah, alright. Let's, um, let's get the chest in the middle. And then we'll get the gold blocks after. So, I... Do have enough blocks for this, I hope. So if you could just move a bit. I'm gonna place here, here, up like so. And boom, we should be safe. Yes, safe to open it. Six item gets a bunch of string, chains, some new gold pants, and another crossbow with mending. Whoa. Alright. That's not bad at all. Okay, so now. It's the remaining task of getting the gold blocks. There's two gold blocks here. If we get those, we'll have enough to get all of the paper we need for the enchantment table to be able to make level 30 enchantments. Alright, so this is gonna be a bit challenging because those guys are probably gonna hate me. Well, they will hate me once I start taking this thing. So, I need you, sir out here so I can block this area off. Alright, he's out. I'm gonna block it off right here. Like so. Alright. Uh, I have my iron pickaxe with me. Hold on. It did not sound like... You know what? I'm gonna make a new shield here because I don't trust this and my current shield is about to break. Okay, let's see. It honestly did not sound like he got angry. Maybe he just wasn't around to see it? Okay. Um, we're just gonna go with it. And I'm gonna go over to the other gold block. And uh, we'll take that one too. <laughs> Can we get down here? Are we good? Yeah, we're good. Hmm. I won't complain. Well, let's do this one as well then. Block that off, this off, and that, and that, and that. Okay. We'll take the gold block. I hear them, but they don't sound angry. So, I mean... I 
guess that's good. Oh nope, he he he's mad. He's very mad. Okay, um, I just have to, <laughs> unfortunately, do that. Uh, I don't have that many blocks to bridge up with. Let's go. Huh. Just gotta be careful of the sound of a crossbow loading. Wait, I think we're in the clear. We're in the clear. We got enough gold. We have 30 levels. I'm not staying around here. Let's go home. Good timing as well, because I do not have any more food on me, so... Staying out any further would be bad. We are home, finally. Let's get back in safety, cook up some food, and I think... Uh, yeah, this would be a good time to gather some more food, actually. But we'll do it after <laughs> we have enchanted the diamond pickaxe. I'm not losing these levels again. Uh, oh wait, I have golden... I have golden carrots. Should I eat some? We gotta, we gotta eat some. This, 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 this requires celebration, alright? This requires celebration. There we go. I'm gonna put these uh, in here for safekeeping. Alright, let me organize my inventory. Alright, now comes the actual part of getting all the paper required. Uh, we are going to be needing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 bookshelves. Which means we will need 48 leather, which we certainly have. There we go. All right, let's uh, let's go down there and buy the paper with all of this gold. Uh, do I have my craft table? Yes, I do. Are you guys gonna fight? Me? Oh no, this is bad. This is this is bad. Why are they all that, Bob? I don't I don't I don't need this. <laughs> um. Hmm. 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 Can I, like, take one from here? I think I can do that. Wait, can I? There we go. Go away. Okay. We should be good. We're gonna make these books on the go. Paper. Oh, we gotta get levels from this as well. Okay, so that is the first pieces of paper right here. Books. There we go. And that will result in seven bookshelves right there. So we're gonna get the next batch, like so, and that is going to give 14 bookshelves. Now we just need the last two, which is this, and there we go. This will result in 16 bookshelves. That was a lot of gold, but it was certainly worth it. Thank you, Bob, for your services. Let's get back up. Alright, so now with the 48 books we will need uh, 16, so that's going to be 32, 32, 32. Uh, a stack and a half of wood. I think we have everything. So I think I could just search bookshelf, shift click it, and boom, 16 bookshelves. This is a big moment right here. We have never done this in Elder Survival before. So this is very exciting. Let's put that over here. Let's put the shield away. So. Bookshelf, bookshelf, book, 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 book. And so far we have to level 20. Then we add two more here. 28. And then this should be enough. But we can't just leave it like that. I'm gonna put one there. And look at that. That is a beautiful sight. We can get level 30 enchantments, but we're not done. We need Lapis Lazuli, so we have one already by mistake. One, two, three, one, two, three. We need two more so we can make some 30 level enchantments. So we gotta go back down to Bob. You will stay away. There we go. Two Lapis Lazuli. Then we're gonna go back up and we're gonna take the other one. Now, we're gonna take three diamonds away to make a diamond pickaxe. I think the diamond pickaxe is going to be the best investment because, first of all, we will be able to hopefully get an unbreaking 3 enchantment and maybe even an efficiency. Um, so, we need the diamond pickaxe in order to start getting ancient debris, which we do want to do, obviously. So, I think the diamond pickaxe is going to be the best investment as of right now. There we go, diamond pickaxe. Let's hope for a good enchantment. I'm either only going to go with the enchantment if it has Unbreaking 3 in its name or Efficiency 4 in its name. 
all right? On break E3, that is perfect. That means it will last a lot longer. Let's go with it. The best thing we could get is an Unbreaking 3, Efficiency 4, and Fortune 3 as well. I really, really hope so. Let's go. Enchanter? Yes! <laughs> that is the best enchantment we could get! Unbreaking... Oh, that's my phone. <laughs> that was random. Unbreaking 3, Fortune 2, and Efficiency 4. Would you look at that? That is not a pickaxe we can complain about at all look at that unbreaking three efficiency four fortune two what could have happened is we could have only gotten unbreaking three on it or efficiency four but nope we got unbreaking fortune and uh, blah, 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 if efficiency <laughs> i can't speak now of course i'm not going to just walk around with this all the time that would be stupid of me and i can't just throw it into this barrel of junk no, it it need it needs it needs a special place. Okay, so let's uh, let's make a quick item frame here, and I guess we'll make this uh, these empty areas here. I guess we can put special things, especially over here. I think the pickaxe should go up on the wall right here for when we don't need it. Then it can be there, and yeah, when we need it, we can just take it and go mine, and then we can put it back in. That's beautiful. We will definitely get more usage of this, and I actually forgot in uh, when you enchant. Uh, even though it is a 30 level enchantment we just did, it only took 3 levels. We still have 28, so it should be a pretty easy for me to be able to get back up to 30 so we can enchant more stuff. But I don't know what we should enchant next. I guess armor is a thing. We have quite a bit of iron now, so maybe we should go for iron armor. Should we? I don't know. I'm I, I'm not sure what to use the iron for, uh, to be honest with you. I'm thinking iron armor would possibly be a very good investment. Um, but anyways, yeah, let, let me know what you think of the iron down below in the comments. That's not really a particularly good use for it. Um, not even harpers anymore, because now there's a chance of Gilded Blackstone to spawn on the chest in uh, Bastions. So the hopper method is no longer... It's kind of usable, but not really usable at all. Um, so it's a bit, little bit useful, but now there's a chance that it will not work, so it's not really reliable. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think we should enchant next and what we should do with the iron. And also, we have three diamonds left. What should we make? What, what should we make with that? A diamond sword? A diamond axe? Let me know your thoughts on that down in the comments below. But anyways, that is going to be it for this episode. We got quite a bit done today. Enchantment slash brewing slash smithing table. We didn't get to brew, of course. Um, but And we actually didn't get to barter. But this episode is quite long, so we'll have to do that in the next one. I really hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, and goodbye. Okay, I got those.